Maurice. Can he stop the streak of Ant West? He lines up on pole. Ant West, our visiting Australian, absolutely scintillating in the South Island leg of this championship. He is the man to beat here today. Al Hoogie, good pace yesterday. He was right there. And Tony Rees on the outside of row number one. The lights are out and we are ready to go. Not the greatest of starts for Al Hoogie. It's going to be Mitchell Rees leading into turn one. Ant West, a good start right there behind as well. And then you've got the legend, Tony Rees, at third place. Al, still handy to the pace over there in fourth place. And Scotty Moyer fired up. Scotty Moyer ready to go yesterday. Bit of bad luck for Scotty yesterday. He had a mechanical issue that kept him out of the start of the eight lapper. So he'll be hungry for some success here. And he's running a good top five at the moment. We've got uh, James Hugenboozum, Aaron Scott and Heath Bodica. And they'll be your sixth, seventh and eighth runners as they scream down the back straight. Uh, well, this is going to be good. Twelve lapper here. So uh, look out for it as we've got... Uh, into the McKissick Curve, the beautiful decreasing radius left hand to the best left hand corner in all of New Zealand motorsport racing. It's brilliant and breathtaking. And uh, looks to be Ant West got the advantage. So Ant West, he's pulled the trigger early. He now leads into the hairpin. Mitch Rees running behind. We've got Tony, then uh, Al, then Scotty. The classy top five as they run into the short shoot. Uh, then they go left again, round through the pit lane straight. And into the bus stop, Ant West, uh, the letter W on the bike. It did the track racing team. They've come over here, they've uh, fired up. And uh, they've kept off uh, some great success early on in this uh, championship campaign. But Mitchell Rees, he'll be desperate under a little bit of a fitness cloud uh, here. But uh, talking to him this morning, said he's fired up, he's ready to go, and he's hungry to try and uh, stop the juggernaut Ant West. Neil, uh, what's it going to take for these Team Rees Hondas to reel in this uh, Grand Prix superstar? Well, remembering this time yesterday, A, it was a shorter race, and B, Ant West was back in fourth place. He had some real work to do yesterday. Talk about how hard it was to overtake on the small circuit. He uh, said, uh, hey, what a dynamic circuit it was. He just switched it was, was a little bit uh, bigger. Of course, you always uh, like to think that. I don't think there's anybody that ever wants anything to be smaller, but uh, you get the idea. And uh, here he is with uh, the way he was riding. And then he said, hard to overtake, but he'd gone 4 3 2, and then he ended up by winning it. He's gone out quicker than this. This is similar to what he did uh, last weekend when we saw him at Ruapuna. Took a little bit of time to get into the swing of things on the uh, Saturday race, but first thing on the Sunday, smashed it out of the ballpark at the uh, Euromark uh, Motorsport Park out of Christchurch. And uh, here he is coming to Levels Raceway, just out of uh, Timaru here in the central South Island for this uh, beautiful uh, run at the moment. Mr. Ant West, folks, addicted to track as the race team, powered by Yamaha, uh, coming to you uh, all the way from uh, Australia to uh, New Zealand for our uh, series. Was at uh, Taupo, of course, for uh, that uh, round. Uh, he uh, took uh, the Christmas off, came back to the South Island, and he had never been to New Zealand uh, in his uh, 30 years of uh, life. So uh, uh, having his first trips here, so obviously the first to be at all these racetracks, and he's uh, smashed it, had wins at every one of them for the first ever time. So comes the Superbikes, bang, wins at Manfield. Comes to Ruapuna, bangs, he wins, and comes here to uh, Levels, and bang, he can win again yesterday. He'll be back, of course, for the Burt Munro Challenge, so looking out for the greatest motorcycle event in New Zealand, because for the first time ever part of this New Zealand Superbike road racing campaign part of PDS uh, Logistics and we're thoroughly looking forward to having NZSBK joining the family along with the bird event so that'll be sensational and of course he'll be back for the final we're going to Hampton Downs that magnificent track in the North Waikato for that uh, feature final coming up in the first weekend of March so we've got a great calendar laid out in front of us can this man win at every event Brad? Oh this is breathtaking pace 102.6 for the first flying lap from Ant West Mitchell Reese has come for the ride as well we're on here we've got uh, a big nine laps to go and uh, the pace is hot uh, Mitchell Reese a 102345. That is a brand new lap record on a superbike around levels in a national raceway. You can tell how hungry our two time defending New Zealand superbike champion is. He is not letting Ant West get away with this one here. Brand new lap record on wrap two of an absolute thriller here. Those two have bolted Tony Rees and uh, Scotty Moyer. They're third and fourth place. We've got uh, a bit of. Uh, drama for Al Hoogie, he's slipping back uh, in the time sheet, he's got his uh, bro James right there behind him, we've got Aaron Scott and Heath Bodica still there out there, so we've still got our uh, big seven runners out there Neil, but uh, Al Hoogie after that pace yesterday, this is a drama for a Team Al Thurm Window System Jamaha. Well we've got um, our man of course uh, Heath Bodica and what a superstar of our sport this guy is, he can just about do anything in our sport, he does see a Burt Munro challenge, being one of the heroes of the Burt, he's been winner of the Burt Munro uh, uh, elite trophy for his participation in times gone by as well, and uh, we were only talking this morning about the Burt and all the events got lined up. He's even thinking about doing the flat track there, of course, at uh, uh, Southern Bolts and Fasteners the Speedway. Congratulations to Bradley Wilson-Dean winning that New Zealand uh, solo uh, Speedway title uh, down in Invercargill last night. What a sensational event. And uh, congratulations to Hayden Brooklyn for that second place as well. I remember seeing Hayden on his plastic scooter when I stayed at his house many years ago for the Burt Munro. Great to see how far he's come through. All members of our great family of motorcycling, bring it on. Speedway, flat track, the Burt Munro. We're back here at the moment with a fast flying run. Could be a change. 
Orange coming up red. No, up. not quite there. Had a little look, but uh, realising wasn't quite close enough. He knows it's going to be a, not, a big eight laps to go. Doesn't want to show all his cards too early. Probably quite content following Ant West uh, just for a couple of laps here, but Mitchell Rees is fired up and he is ready to go. A 102.345. That is a brand new lap record on a superbike around here. And he is right there on the back wheel of Ant West. So we've got uh, some fireworks expected here in the final stages. Uh, we've got a good battle developing for the podium. We've got Tony Rees there in third, but Scotty Moyer, a rejuvenated Scotty here, Neil. He's there in fourth place, and we've got some uh, excitement building all over this paddock. There's only seven races out there, but seven of the absolute best. As uh, Mitchell Reeves not quite close enough to have a look at the turn one. Seven laps remaining. We're coming up to the halfway stage, and uh, we've got uh, some tantalising moments out on the track. I want to do a shout out for the uh, Diamond Design uh, team, uh, Promoto Race Team, man, and man, they've had their backs to the wall. If, can you ask for how many things to go wrong? Go and list what can go wrong at a race meeting, and he's put all of those together. So bad luck for uh, Scotty. Uh, so uh, hey, coming back here today, uh, Super Dad uh, George, of course. Uh, well, uh, he was uh, MIA uh, yesterday, and maybe that's part of the reason why they're back on the track today. It might be a better performance for uh, George's absence, but it's another uh, story left for another day. But uh, great to have him uh, back out on the track and doing much better. This is a George Moy we know. Uh, sorry, Scotty Moy we know. Wash your mouth, Neil, uh, because I've seen Scotty. He's won three here. I've seen him win three Superbike races, uh, one on Saturday, two on Sunday here. He just loves this track, and he was so frustrated. We're just all patting him on the back. Come on, Scotty, get your head around things again, and let's get going again. Not his fault that we've got all these dramas with that man and machine, but, uh, hey, it's starting to be sorted out now. There are some of the super stories you get behind the scenes and you can find out all about that in our open pit environment. You're most welcome to join us. Hey, we're coming up. Still more racing here today in Timaru. And, of course, the uh, Teratonga in the Burt Munro in four weeks' time. And then uh, three weeks after that to uh, Hampton Downs. We're locked and loaded for another uh, NZSBK brought to us by PDS Logistics. All on out there, Brad. Oh, man, it's on. Still only a tenth of a second. This hasn't been the uh, bigger gap than that the whole race long. Mitchell Rees, can he find the legs on that Team Rees Honda? He's not quite going to be there to pull up alongside Ant West, but he gets really good drive out on that back straight and uh, maybe just sizing Ant up, maybe doesn't want to show him all his cards early. We're only halfway through in excitement. 12 laps of our Red Path New Zealand Superbikes at round four of NZSBK here at Levels International Raceway. This is brilliant. Two world-class superstars going at it. They're out on the Kissa Curve and on the run to the hairpin. Ant West leads Mitch Rees, but there's absolutely nothing in it. You go back, Tony Rees and Scotty Moyer are locked in the battle as well. That is for a uh, excitement uh, on the podium. We've had Team Rees Honda have a couple of uh, trips to the podium, but Scott Tony Moy is desperate for his first trip. Can he find a way around uh, Tony Rees? That's the battle for third and fourth. But the one at the front we can't take our eyes off. Again, another less than a tenth of a second. Point zero nine. Unbelievable racing at the front, Neil. And this is exactly what the fans have come to see. A 12-lap thriller here to start the day for Super Bowl. i tell you what. So you got a two, then you got a gap, then you got a two, uh, then you had a gap, then we did have a two. But now it's Scotty. He's pulled clear. He's got the advantage. So well done to Scotty Moy. Great work out there on that uh, Diamond Design supported uh, promo to uh, Yamaha. Uh, YZFR1, so uh, great work from him at the moment. So uh, there you go to the uh, hardened charging uh, Scotty back there doing all the good work in that uh, uh, fifth place. He, he want to do better. He's horse he want to do better. He has done better in the past. But when you're starting again with uh, an updated uh, bike, a new design, you've got all the telemetry to go with it and sorting out all the uh, things that happen off the bike and on the bike back in the pits as well. So I uh, want to do a big shout out for the team behind the scenes. And uh, uh, Dan's back with him as well. So Dan giving him some uh, credibility to Nev and uh, Evan and the whole crew back there. Keep it up, guys is going well. So there you go, Ant West, Mitch Rees, Tony Rees, Scott Moyer, then go to Al Hugaboos and Brother James as well, along with Aaron Scott and Heath Bodiger. They're making your Super 8 races in this awesome race. And that, yes, the official lap record. Superbike, a 102.345. Mr. Mitch Rees, back there in second place. It's like Hayden Fordyce. He was only second in the first race, but he was the fastest. So there's a lot of kudos out there. And that is an absolutely magic uh, lap record. In fact, there was a beaten here yesterday, uh, held by the late uh, Damon uh, Rees, and then uh, yesterday they betted by uh, Ant West on the leader W uh, addicted to track uh, Yamaha and now today Mitch has beaten that record again so the lap record beaten one day after the other that's how fast they're going Brad super quick all right three and a half laps remaining we're in uncharted territory we only had an eight lap race yesterday and the boys were saying how aggressive the surface is on tyres so are we going to get into a stage where no one has any idea what the tyres are going to do it's only a 12 lapper but uh, we are in uncharted territory Ant West leads Mitch Rees absolutely narrowly out of the hairpin and into the short shoot, uh, ready to go around pit lane straight and into the bus stop. When they cross the line, there's only going to be three laps to go. Excitement's been on all race, but it's starting to build really nicely here. Can our two-time defending New Zealand Superbike champion find something special in these last couple of laps here? Three more to go. We've still got the excitement for the outside of the podium as well as uh, Tony and Scotty virtually in seven.
several. We've got Al there in fifth place. Now, Al, he's lapping in the low 104, so he's done absolutely nothing wrong. Just uh, something went awry right at the start of the race, and uh, he's drifted right off the pace. So, uh, trying to find out what happens more as we goes, have a look down the back straight. Goes, Mitchell going to have no. a look? No. Not quite there, but uh, he's been really strong there all weekend long, so this is going to be exciting. Two and a half laps to go, Neil, and uh, anything can happen here. We've got excitement all over the racetrack at our Red Path New Zealand Superbike Championship, really starting to get exciting. Well, I'll tell you what, what reminds me back in this fight for third place is the uh, same battle for second at the fantastic Robert Holden event at uh, Cemetery Circuit uh, just last month, where we had uh, Shane Richardson on that uh, KMD uh, Kawasaki pushing that man Tony Rees all the way, and today we've got Scott Moyer on a big bike uh, pushing him hard as well. He will never surrender. One of the greatest of all time. He's not in our motorcycling hall of fame for nothing. Some amazing legacy that he's left, but he still carries on. His will to race is still as great. And uh, what he's done now with having uh, Mitch in uh, super strong form out there. Now, Mitch, if you caught up with his voice, you can just hear it in his voice uh, over this last uh, week or so that he's really had the <coughs> down there, the bug. And uh, he's been, I think he's in the process of kicking it, and that's given his body more energy. And he's now starting to show that on the racetrack. He is a real match out there, Frank West. That addicted to track man has got some work to do. And it's Shout out to that fantastic team behind the scenes. i tell you what, a whole bunch of uh, quality uh, gentlemen and tuna, I must add in there, that uh, we've got on board with us. So uh, well done to that uh, crew. And I uh, hope you're having a great time here in New Zealand. Yeah, spent uh, some time at uh, beautiful Tekapo here in uh, the Mackenzie country during the weekend and uh, blown away by uh, New Zealand. And uh, what a contrast it is to go from a place like Christchurch and within two hours drive, you're in the middle of the Mackenzie country in beautiful Lake Tekapo. So love having the uh, Aussies to show them how beautiful New Zealand is. But I tell you what, at the moment, it's an Aussie showing us how beautiful our racing is, our tracks are, because he's uh, taken it to another level, smashing the lap record here yesterday and leading once again in our super bikes. All right, white flags coming out now. One one lap to go, what an excitement we got here. Ant West, one race two last weekend, won the New Zealand Grand Prix, won here yesterday as well. He's on a three race winning streak. Mitchell Rees knows how important this moment is. He is desperate to break the trend. They both get pretty good drive out onto the back straight. Mitch Rees is gonna to have to try and tuck it in the slipstream, but a wonderful drive out there for Ant West. Can Mitchell find something? This is where that team Rees Honda's been good all weekend long, and it's not gonna be quite close enough. It's now gonna need something absolutely breathtaking from Mitchell Rees. Where's he gonna find? It. Into the McKissick curve they go for the final time here in this 12 lapper race two for the weekend here round four. NZSBK, what a treat this New Zealand Superbike Championships turned out to be. But Ant West is really starting to pull the trigger on this championship. Mitchell needs to find something, is it into the hairpin? He's not quite close enough to have a look there. This is exactly what the fans want to see. Ant West, Mitchell Rees, they've been going at it all 12 laps long. And Ant West out of that left hander, he just about done enough into the bus stop. Mitchell's not close enough, it's going to be Ant West surely now now into the bus stop and out of the other side and West wins another one here in the weekend. Mitchell Rees tried absolutely everything but another second place and uh, they're starting to add up in the win column for that uh, dynamic Australian Grand Prix star and West on the Olympic track racing team. Another win here as then we shift our attention to the outside of the podium. Tony's going to hang on to that one there so a good third place in a Team Rees Honda 2-3 there uh, and then you go back to Scotty Moyer a uh, much better show. Scotty Moyer is back ladies and gentlemen and that is going to feel mighty good for the uh, Diamond Design Pro Moto uh, Highway Tires Yamaha team. Absolutely brilliant to see them back on pace and excited to see it as we get uh, the top four come through. Fifth place, Raoul Hoogie, he uh, just missed the start there. Something happened in those first couple of laps and he lost touch with the front groups, but uh, knows he's got the pace and he'll be a real factor later on. And our big 15 lap feature race after the lunch break. Do not miss that, folks, that's gonna be good as we get uh, the updates now. James Hoogie comes home, another good uh, sixth place for James. Aaron Scott will be home in seventh and in eighth place, wrapping it up for Heath Bodica on the Anchor Engineering uh, Ducati Panigale. So there we go. This New Zealand Superbike Championship is absolutely electric and uh, another brilliant performance. Well done to the Addicted to Track Racing team and Ant West again are now on a five race winning streak here in our New Zealand uh, NZSBK campaign. We've got a cross down at Eel who will wrap it all up there. We've got uh, Ant Rees, uh, we've got Mitchell Rees and then we've got Tony Rees, a star studded podium and uh, we'll catch up uh, with Neil very shortly.
so to speak. So uh, the fact that we can get these guys up here, get them uh, quicker uh, onto this uh, podium is uh, an absolute uh, buzz. So uh, great to see uh, Pirelli winning all the way with Pirelli tyres, first, second and third again. How many times do you see that? Of course, uh, uh, Pirelli, the smoking hot tyre. For those of you looking at other brands, uh, you go back to your number one. And uh, part of the reason why, of course, I've become an exquisite partner of our uh, team as well. We're bringing technical people into New Zealand to support our riders and also the fact that uh, uh, they're here to offer uh, support at the venue and also the fact that they're a uh, sponsor. So shout out to Level Limited and what uh, they're doing on our uh, race track. Oh, so uh, this is pretty darn cool. So, here, so here's uh, Super Mum uh, Vicky over the first one to uh, congratulate uh, Anton there as well as we uh, look out for our uh, uh, podium and an opportunity to get the uh, the young fella up here. So uh, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Here we go, the legend, the Hall of Fame of the great uh, Tony Rees still joining us here on a podium. Uh, Tony, uh, what excites you on a Sunday morning to still come out and push your body to the max, mate? Um, I'm here because of the demo. Yeah, pretty special, isn't it, eh? Here, here, well done. Here, here, do you hear the support out there for that? Certainly is, mate, certainly is. So, uh, well done. But, uh, hey, what's uh, what's Levels like this morning? Uh, levels is fine. Tony's not that great, though, because those boys are disappearing too fast, you know. It's sort of been nice to be uh, a little bit closer, but, yeah, I just didn't have it this morning. Maybe I'm tired. It's two days in. Yeah. Hey, uh, on the positive note, you had uh, Scotty Moore. You just there to make sure you were staying pretty honest as well. Yeah, I, I actually took him out, but, uh, you yeah, know, didn't, didn't want to lose it on the last lap, so... It's great, great to be on the podium. Congrats, guys. I see the battle up ahead until it disappeared, but it looked pretty good. Hey, is there a hero today? What? Come on, everybody, where's the support? TR, the absolute legend. So, uh, well done today. All right, uh, for uh, Mighty Mitchell and uh, Mitchell, uh, every battle you're having with Ant now is a classic. Well done. Lap record on that one, mate. Lap record. So, of course, the lap record was Damo's. Uh, then it was Ant yesterday. It's yours uh, today, two and a throw. That was a much better race from Mitch Rees. Yeah, yeah, I obviously got the start, which helps, and then he went past on the first lap, and I was like, oh, sweet, I'll just see if I can tag him behind him and just sit there, and uh, I actually made a mistake off the end of the straight on the second lap and missed the gear, so I had to do all the, all the hard work to do and catch back up, and obviously that's where the lap record came from, so, but hey, uh, absolutely unreal pace, like, we're just obviously humming out there, so that was, uh, that was exciting, that was fun, um, yeah, just awesome racing. Right, um, uh, levels, that different track that we have, everybody talks about each year, how do you find it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's another race track, it's fantastic. Um, yeah, there's no, no one track and there's always something in a certain track that you either love or hate, so uh, yeah, that's, that's that I guess. Well done, where's your, where's your lap record holder folks right here? Well done, new lap record, talking world class uh, racing coming at us in a moment, so uh, well done on board and uh, uh, Ant first of all, uh, Mitch made you work for that one, it wasn't too easy. No, he, he hung in there, every time he came into the hairpin I could hear him right behind me, so every time I thought, oh, I can have a rest now, no, he was right there again, so no, I was, I was a bit worried the last lap, so I, was, I knew he had a lot of laps to, to see where I was on track, so I was waiting for him to come past, he had a little look up the inside at the end of the back straight, so I just tried to keep pushing to the end and make sure I didn't leave the door open anywhere and keep it smooth, so eventually we got there, and, and uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Great to see. Hey, uh, for a, in a different country, what are some of your uh, sort of traditions and protocols here? You come to New Zealand, what are you doing the night before an event, for example, last night, you know, what sort of dining do you do? Do you, do you have to import your Australian food so you feel more at home, or is our Kiwi food all right? What do you do? Well, we've been eating steaks a lot, so that's, yeah, but New Zealand steak is as good as Australian steak, so, um, yeah, normally, always, week before a race, just always try and settle yourself down and concentrate and, I don't know, eat clean and... I don't know, it, it's always weird. It, you, I've tried every different way to, to approach a race and I don't know, you never feel like you get it right. You're always nervous when you jump on that bike, so you just gotta go for a win when the time happens. We are lucky to have this kind of star with us in New Zealand, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Ant West uh, showing us which way is the uh, leading way here. What a beautiful uh, podium. I'll stand out that one, let the camera shots just do their last little bit there. So uh, there it is, a star studded moment for our superbikes. Uh, all part of our uh, brilliant program here with NZSBK, brought to us by uh, PDS Logistics, moving our freight around, round, around. So uh, thanks to PDS, could be your uh, quality freight mover as well. We're getting on board for another uh, quality race. Good to see about Trust Aoraki along with MTF uh, Finance. Uh, we've got, of course, uh, uh, your uh, team from Obsolete Iron Motors, uh, just another cool local sponsor coming together for a cool event along with Tamuru Yamaha here on the Wash Dyke Strait. More quality sponsors bringing you this uh, racing today. We're enjoying the weather, we're enjoying the racing, big crowd in as well as we love it. NZSBK rocking South Canterbury, uh, round number four.
All right, lined up and ready to go here. We have our MTF Finance Tamaru supported Pro Twin Super Twin and F3. Three classes out in one, and this was a good one yesterday. So we had uh, our race winners from all three categories right up the top end of the field. And this one's going to be good as well. Uh, the Super Twin lineup was absolutely brilliant. All finishing within a second of each other in that top podium fight. So we're on here.